In this video, I will show you how we can do this manipulation using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Thrill here and as you can see, this is the final output and this is the original photo. Now you can go to file and open the image. Uh, now to start the effect, first of all, we have to crop the photo a little bit. So for that, uh, select your crop tool and then I'm going to crop it. Now this looks good, but when you crop it, make sure this option delete pixel is on. Then go and confirm it. Now we have to remove the background. So for that, go and select your quick selection tool uh, and make a selection of him. After that, click on your refine edge option and in the refine edge, first of all, I'm going to increase the smoothness a little bit uh, and then I'm going to increase my feather a little bit. Uh, and then finally I will increase the contrast even more so we have really softer edges and you can play around until you get the output you like so I think this one looks uh, pretty good uh, then I'm gonna go and hit ok now again go to refine edge uh, but this time uh, use your brush tool this one default uh, make it a little bit bigger and then paint around the edges so now that looks good uh, hit ok after that, right click and select layer via cut. So now the subject is on different layer. Then select your background and you can delete it. After that, select your crop tool and make the document a little bit bigger. So we have more space for the effect. Uh, so this looks uh, pretty good to me. Uh, then go and confirm it. Now we have to make the background. So for that, go and create a new blank layer. Uh, select your paint bucket or right click paint bucket and fill in any color then go and put it under your model then right click and select blending option in the blending option i'm gonna select gradient overlay in the gradient first of all i'm gonna make it radial uh, then i will reverse so dark portion is outside and adjust the scale now instead of this colors uh, click on your gradient and instead of black i'm gonna go and select some kind of gray bluish tone That looks good. Hit OK. Now instead of this white color, I'm gonna go and select a yellow tone. I mean almost white but a little bit yellow tone. Uh, so this looks good. Uh, then go and hit OK. 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 Everything is ready and now we can add in the water. So for that go to file menu and select place. And place the water image that you download. Uh, then I'm gonna place it. Now go and confirm it. First of all make this on top of your model and decrease the opacity so you can see the background now you have to make the image smaller so i'm gonna press ctrl t hold my shift key and i'm gonna make it smaller make it big enough so it covers uh, its entire head that looks good go and confirm it after that go and select your round marquee tool uh, this one uh, and activate your model layer you can hide it for a while on the water layer you don't need it then go and make a selection something like this now to adjust this right click and select uh, uh, transform selection this one and now you can adjust it and this will be the size of your water pool uh, so i think uh, this big should be enough then go and confirm it now we have to inverse it so for that go to select and select inverse so we have outside area selected now select your eraser tool and make sure you have activated your model layer right now I'm gonna make my brush a little bit bigger and I will erase the area that uh, I don't want. So the head is gone and after that you go back to your select and you inverse it again. So we only have selection of this portion. Now activate your water layer and turn it on. Uh, then once everything is ready, go and click on this layer mask option. So you only have the water visible here. Now you can go and make the opacity 100% so you can see how it looks. This looks pretty good. Now if you want to adjust the water, uh, unlink the mask from here, uh, activate your image layer, select your move tool and now you can move it anywhere you want. So that looks really good. Now go and turn on the link. Now activate your layer mask and zoom in a little bit. Now as you can see this edge is really hard so make sure you have activated your layer mask then you go to filter blur and you select Gaussian blur 
Then the Gaussian blur don't add too much. Start with one pixel or something like that. Uh, so one pixel is also looking good. Let's go with three. Too much. So we will go with 1.5. So we have a bit softer edge. Then go and hit OK. Now zoom out. Looking pretty good. Now we can add in the dolphin. So for that go to file, place and put the dolphin image that you downloaded. Uh, now we have to make it smaller. So hold your shift key and make it really really tiny. I'm gonna go and put it here and make it even smaller. After that right click and select flip horizontal and adjust it a little bit. Uh, so I think this looks really good and I'm gonna rotate it a touch. Then go and confirm it. After that right click on your layer and select rasterize. Now we can use the eraser. So select your eraser and make sure you have really soft brush. Uh, now I'm gonna go and make it smaller and remove the area that I don't want. So now it looks like the fish is in the water and you can move it a little bit to give it exact output. Now we can also add in the boat. So for that go to file, uh, place and find the boat image that you downloaded, place it. Uh, now right click and select flip horizontal. Uh, and I'm gonna hold my shift key and make it really small. After that right click and select perspective from here. And you can make it a little bit stretchier from this angle. Now it looks good enough then you can go and confirm it. And I'm gonna move it a little bit here. We also have to erase a little bit part here. So right click on your ship, uh, rasterize layer, select your eraser and remove a little bit of bottom part uh, so it fades in, bot uh, in the water really nice. Now let's zoom out and see how it looks. So this looks pretty good and now we can add in the waterfall. So for that go and create a new blank layer and select a brush tool and in the brush uh, select the waterfall brush that you downloaded. Uh, so I think this one looks really nice and make sure your color is white here. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller use your bracket keys for that. Uh, so I think this big is good enough and don't forget to create a new blank layer right. Then go and do a click. After that press ctrl T right click and select warp. And now you can adjust it exactly the way you want. So I'm going to change the angle a little bit. Now we have to remove some unnecessary area. So go and select your eraser and I'm going to remove a little bit from here and there. So I think that looks really good. After that go and make a copy of this layer. Press Ctrl J and in the bottom layer uh, name it shadow. Then go to image, adjustment and hue saturation and in the hue saturation make sure your lightness is all the way minus 100, hit ok. Now in the shadow layer you can actually move it. So select your move tool and I'm gonna move it a little bit on this side, just like that. Then go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and add bunch of blur until you get the fadey look that you need. Uh, so I think this looks really nice, hit ok. Now change the opacity really low so it doesn't look distracting. Uh, so this one looks really good. So the waterfall, boat, dolphin, everything is done. Now we can add in the water splash so it blends in together. So for that go and create a blank layer on top of everything and name it water splash. I'm gonna rename this one too. So select your water splash layer, this one. Uh, and in the brush go and select the splatter brush uh, that you downloaded. So these are the ones. Uh, so I'm gonna try this one and make it smaller. Uh, for this file 100 and 150 looks really good. Now let's go and make a splash. So that looks nice. Now I'm gonna do it multiple times.
So I think this looks pretty possible <laughs> and now we can add the clouds. So for the clouds, go and create a new blank layer on top of your ocean layer, exactly here, under everything. Now in the clouds, uh, go and select your cloud brushes that you downloaded. So I think this one looks pretty good. And also make sure color is white and make it smaller and do a click. And I'm gonna also make it a little bit smaller. So for that, Control T, hold Shift key, make it smaller and adjust it. Uh, so I think this looks pretty good. Confirm it. Now all the setup is ready and we can add the lighting. So for that, go and create a new blank layer from here and name it light. Now select your brush tool and in the brush, I'm gonna go and select a regular round brush with white color. Uh, make it smaller and just do a click one more time. After that, go and create another blank layer and this time name it light color. And in the color, go and change it to somewhere orangish. Hit OK. Now I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Do a click and change this blending mode to screen. So we have a little bit of orange tint and it looks really nice. Now that looks really good and we can start doing the adjustment. So for that, First of all, go and create a new blank layer on top of everything and then press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and E. So that way you can have a JPG of your document. Then go to Image, Adjustment and select Shadows and Highlights. Here click on Show More Options so you have these options and in the Highlights turn down the radius a little bit like this and increase the amount a little and adjust it. So I think this looks really nice, then go and hit OK. So the lighting is looking really good. After that, go and create another adjustment layer and select Vibrance and add somewhere around 50% so you have those really nice colors, then close it. After that, go and create new adjustment layer and select this time Curves. In the Curves, make a dot here and then go and increase the slider from here. So you have really softer shadows and then adjust it a little bit. Then go and close it. Now in my shadows and highlight layer, I'm gonna go and change the opacity to somewhere around like 80% so I don't have really strong effect. Uh, so this looks really good. So the effect is ready and all we have to do is add sharpening. So for that, go and create a new blank layer from here and then press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and E. After that, go to Filter, Other and select High Pass. In the High Pass, one pixel is more than enough, hit OK. Then change the blending mode to Hard Light. So now if I turn it on and off, as you can see, we have those really nice details. So that's it and this is the final output. So I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did, Hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions, uh, feel free to ask me in comment section below. Till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.